Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm introducing the latest update for Photoshop Elements. Adobe released the 2026 version just over one month ago and they've now brought out this 26.1 dot release and it fixes a few bugs which have been identified um, in the public community and they've also introduced a new enhancement to the guided edit for changing the background. So I've got this photograph already open and there's a bit of clash of colours going on. So I'm going to show you quickly how to change the background. So I'm going to go to guided and um, under the special edits and we can find the um, usual replace background GE. I'm going to select subject and um, just clicking once and it does a pretty good job of um, selecting the, um, the, the subject. Um, and you can see the tools are now highlighted and as well as the usual abstract presets which you just click once to, um, to apply, it's very very simple. You could also um, use a solid colour um, if you wanted to and again it's one click. Or you can bring in your own um, um, photo from folders or uh, an image from Adobe Stock. And we have this new Generate button now. So if I click on Generate, um, I can actually type a prompt into the box. I'm just going to type in um, something like Bamboo Trees. And click on Generate. I'll leave it set to Auto and let the um, AI make the decisions for me and um, we'll have to just wait a little bit whilst the um, processing take place. You will need an internet connection to use these um, generative AI features. So I'll... Um, and there we have it. We've, we've got four, four backgrounds generated and I think this does a very good job actually. Let's just look at number two. That's the second one and the third one and the fourth one. They're all, they're all pretty similar. That one's got a little bit more light behind, I think. And I think actually I like that one. That looks nice and clear. And the bamboos show up quite well. So that's the one I'm going to save. Um, so I hope you like this new feature and um, enjoy playing around with it. And it's a great way to use your own imagination for creating backgrounds. This next example is a photograph taken for Halloween. So let's go back into Guided and um, choose the Special Edits again and replace the background. And I'm going to select Subject straight away. Just takes a few seconds for the... And that seems to have done a pretty good job. He's got all the hair and the, um, and, and the costume. So let's go to um, Generate. Um, this time I'm going to type into the box something like um, uh, a dark, gloomy sky. Spelled gloomy incorrectly, I've got too many O's. Take that one out. A dark, gloomy sky with bats and a witch flying on a broomstick. Okay, so let's click generate and see see what we get. And that's the first one. That looks pretty interesting. Although the the the, the witch on the broomstick seems to be behind the um, the subject. That's the second one. Ah, oh, we can see a bit of the witch there. This is the third one, and this is the fourth one. I think I like the second one. Um, what I can do now is I can use some of the other tools. So if I go to the Move tool, I can actually scale this um, this subject and, and and move it about into the frame. And as you can see, that reveals more of the um, the background image. So I'm going to click Done because I quite like that. Click on the Hand tool, which will get rid of the bounding box. And um, you can also use the um, Refine edge, I don't think it's necessary in this case, just the selection is pretty good. But let's choose the auto match colour tone and see what happens. And it's, it's 
she's doing creating a preview for you. Um, it's kind of blended it in a little bit, but I don't think it's made a big difference. So I'm going to click on next, and what I can do is I can open this in the advanced mode, and we can start to use the layers. So if I add a um, adjustment layer, let's go to the layer menu, new adjustment layer, brightness and contrast, and click OK. And if I hold down the Alt key, I can make a clipping mask. You can see this little arrow and downward pointing. If I click once, that clips it to just to the subject layer with the mask. And so I can use these controls now to adjust the brightness. If I darken it a little bit, that kind of blends in better, I think, and it brings out some of the colours and and the tones tones down some of the garish hair colour. And I'll close that down now because I think that's okay. And we can do a similar thing with the um, the background image. If I if I select the background image and I let's go back to the layer menu and choose new adjustment layer and choose levels. Click OK, and again, I'm going to just clip this to the background by holding down the Alt key until I get the downward pointing arrow. You can click once, and it's clipped. And now if I um, tweak the background, you can see I'm just darkening it and bringing out some um, more of the, um, the lighting in the spooky house. So I think that's fine, just to give you an idea of how you can manually adjust the automatic output to your own taste. I have a companion video which shows how to use the ordinary selection tools and how to fill those selections using generative AI. So if you need any more inspiration, just um, click on the link which I've put in the description below this video. That's everything for today, so thank you for watching. I'm just going to give you a list before I go of the main bug fixes in this 26.1 version. And so until next time, it's bye bye.